Wow. I'm not crying. You are. But man. I think I see this every time after the emotional part. This is a fake game. You don't have to pay nothing. And you are offered the most. Okay. Most of the parties. Uh, amazing game. The fact that this is free. The fact that I actually care for the story. The fact that this is a high quality. The animation. The I really don't know what to say else. This game really earns his title to see. I'm alright. I'm just a little confused. We've just saved the world, right? So why... Why am I crying? Wow, I'm actually surprised I actually animate crying now. This is called emotion. I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. So wait, we're actually gonna forget Ruka the what existed and we kinda remember them? Just now, we used the power of two Gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin Soul Consciousness from 500 years ago. Then, we removed the remaining pollution from Ermin Soul. Okay. I think this is gonna be very interesting. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with this character, Hoyerverse, because you cannot just make him a Isekai character and have nothing to do with this. I wonder what Paimon's gonna say. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Okay, I guess Paimon forget to. But if, wait, if we don't forget the look at the world, that means the forbidden knowledge is still up there, isn't it? Maybe. What the? Oh, don't sleep me in. What is happening now? Oh, I saw the blood ball. Why is he back? Huh? That sound. Traveler, Paimon. I've been waiting here far too long, but finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. What are you doing here? And don't tell me he's gonna take the electronosis and the dental one for some reason. The doctor! What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. I don't know why, but because of the tree alone, the tree are like ten times more dangerous. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sage's research. I thought I'd take it for a little spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. 
Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... There are many different versions of you in this world? In this one. Okay, I kinda know that Dodoy kinda clone his shares, but... Okay, I don't know why, but I feel that later in the game, Go is gonna be more like Ponkai. An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? Okay, now how in the world do that work? Because you still get old, you know, like, you can only make of you from last year, two years, but there's a limitation to that. It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves, not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... You really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? Um, didn't uh, the new god oh, could uh, kill them all because, you know, but uh, they cannot betray them? Again, this is a platform that uh, needs to be resolved. I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. And you seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example... The Gnosis. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if... I were to destroy the Gnosis now, and awaken the Heavenly Principles. You can do that? Awaken the Heavenly Principles? Hmm. Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tavat and all the laws. 
Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? Oh, look at this picture. I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail if... Man, she's not kidding around. After all she been through, she's not gonna back down. <laughs> Gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the god of wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow Harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. It's not like you actually time travel, you just kill your own clones. And let me on, I bet he has to kill some of you, because again, he's a bad guy. Clones, bad guy is gonna always try. I mean, I think if you watch Prime, I think you know what I mean when Sarskin clone himself. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort. Requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes, how very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. Really? You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? I can see your remaining honesty. Really? He's honest? What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short sighted? You think that this is the end? Wait, I'll have a Please wait! You'll make Good this moment count. You. You will regret this! Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. So wait, 
because I kind of heard that he Dodo is gonna be playable. I thought one of his clones is gonna be playable, but I guess that's gonna be the Dodo himself. Man, this was a plot twist. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the God of Wisdom... How about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the God of Wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the God of Wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you, have you in all your mighty knowledge ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? She what? Oh my god. You guys with your team, we're gonna have a field trip with this. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Days. Wait for together. Okay. Wake him up. Are you awake? Kali says it's time for breakfast. Come on, get up. Don't tell me this was all a dream. Good morning. How are you feeling today? to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? Traveler, let's go. Good morning. 
looks like you're awake. Yep, yep. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. I hope you'll like it. <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat something yummy. Well, now that I've recovered from Elizar, I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. Well, at least Corny is the uh, cure for the illness. Although I must say that that's gonna feel too happy ending to say. But I'm not gonna comment too much. And behind them bits, they're all delicious! Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up. So Paimon didn't open it. Alright, let's read it now. Oh, it's from Milu. <clears throat> We're going to hold a feast at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Hmm. The date of the banquet is written on the back. It's in two days. Oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. That's amazing. Yep, we become heroes in here, this place too. Although I bet in Cesnaya we're gonna be the most wanted criminal ever. I don't think we can do even commission there. And Koi, you're supposed to be Axita here because you give the last shot to Valadir. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. Oh, oh <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Good morning. How do you feel today? We feel much better. How about you? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hypasia. For now, I only need to tend to my Forest Watcher duties. It seems once Ermansoul started getting better, everything else started to recover too! Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. By the way, we have some good news! Sino got his position back! <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Huh? You mean he was already here? Why did he come to say hi to us? He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. Then you probably already know all about the celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Huh? But didn't Nilo say in her letter that they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? Hmm. Perhaps, or alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. Uh, come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. I don't, I don't know why Neo would make a party for Sino. I don't think these two are like never interact in this story. Except for that moment when we cut her in the group. Just for that moment alone. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? Very important Paimons? Really? Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. 
The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Yes, he's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali and her boundless mercy has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly, they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Soul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. Uh, the one detail that uh, now I kind of not oversee it is the sages do this for the for the Hukar Davata because we delete all remnants of that. No one acts, technically there, there was never, uh, let me repeat, there was no reason for them to ask if the reason just got deleted. So how in the world that that's going to be explained? As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really exhausting. There's nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. <laughs> 